Hey guys, this is Kyle Wolf for here, and today we're on Slick SMP. And I just want to say that this video is going to be not edited at all because it's going to be my YouTube story basically. So I'm going to be doing my voice when I like first started YouTube. Yay! And this video isn't going to be edited at all. It's going to be rendered in Movie Maker because that's how I edited my videos and everything. And yeah. So first off, I just want to say to you guys that approve this slick and I'll be editing my videos better, but obviously not this one because this one's meant to be not edited and just rendered in Movie Maker. So this video may be completely black the whole entire video because Movie Maker sometimes does that. So that's awesome. Anyway, so I first started YouTube in December 14th in 2013. And when I started YouTube, my Minecraft was super laggy. It was super laggy and I could barely play Minecraft. And when I first started YouTube, what happened was I was just sitting there at my desk and I was like, I want to start YouTube. I want to do this. So my sister helped me out. And here I am today! So, basically, I was inspired, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, I was inspired by King Daddy DMAC to start YouTube, because I really liked his videos. And, so I got a ton of lag, and my videos were just... No. Just... Just no. And, so I'm sorry if my voice is annoying you guys, but this is how I imitate it when it used to be in 2013. So, basically, I know I'm saying basically a lot, but when I rendered my videos in Movie Maker, they were somehow 720p. I guess I figured out how to do HD. And so when I did that, my videos were pretty good and I wanted to do something different. So I recorded a ton of Minecraft Pocket Edition videos and a ton of Xbox videos as well. The videos didn't get a lot of support and I remember when I hit my first 10 subscribers, which were basically all the people I knew. And I was so 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 happy I was super happy and I couldn't even believe that I had that many subscribers I was just astonished then I uploaded more videos on Minecraft Pocket Edition and of course on Minecraft PC and I got a ton of subscribers then my computer wasn't working and I didn't have an iPad, so I couldn't record my my, so I couldn't re record Minecraft Pocket Edition. So I wasn't able to upload videos for like four months. So nothing, nothing really happened in those four months. I didn't really lose any subscribers, and I didn't really gain any either. I don't really remember it because it was two years ago, but I don't know. Then when I got back. I started recording a lot more Minecraft Pocket Edition videos, and of course, a lot more PC videos. Then after that, I hit 50 subscribers, and I was astonished. 50 people just coming to my channel and clicking that subscribe button really freaked me out, to be honest. I was like, oh my gosh, 50 people actually like me! And then, I uploaded more PC videos, and guess what happened? I got even more subscribers. More! And then I hit 100! I was astonished as well. I was still editing my videos, not even editing my videos. I just rendered them in Movie Maker, and apparently I got 100 subscribers. And then, 
here comes the bad part. So basically, if you guys don't remember from a while ago, if you haven't been here for a while, you probably don't know this, but I played with a guy named Will Games, and that was his YouTube channel, and I saw him advertising on Bayesian Canadian's channel. So I went to his channel, I subscribed, and then we started talking and playing Minecraft together. And we had a lot of fun together. And then he hit 30 subscribers. And actually, this happened before I hit 100 subscribers, I think. I don't really remember. It was two years ago. I don't really talk to him a lot today, but, you know, every once in a while, I guess, we might talk. But, basically, we just played Minecraft together, and then he started advertising more, and he got a lot more subscribers. So, when that happened... He hit about 100 subscribers, and I was at like 150. Then he hit 150, and I was like at 160. Then the next day, he was at like 200, and I was still down at like 160. And knowing me, since I was almost three years ago, I got jealous because I was super young. I got jealous of the amount of subscribers he had, so I started advertising. And to this day, I know that that's a very, very bad idea. And if you guys don't know, I actually did advertise, and I'm going, I'm not going. Sorry for the interruption, but where I was leaving off was, I'm not going to deny it. I obviously knew I advertised, and I advertised for a long, long time. I think I advertised until I had like 1,000 subscribers, which is crazy. And the next like day, I hit 200 and 300 subscribers. And I was just super happy to see all the amount of subscribers coming to my channel. But the thing was, he actually still advertises to this day. And the thing is, when he advertises, he doesn't get any hate or inactive subscribers. And I'm just astonished by the fact that he, didn't, he does not get any hate or inactive subscribers when he advertises. And he still advertises. Which I think is crazy. I don't anymore. But basically, I was just spamming it everywhere on every single channel that I could find. And I know now that that's a very, very bad idea. And if I knew it back then, I probably wouldn't have done it. But you know how crazy I was because I was just super young back then. It's kind of hard to keep this voice on because I feel like I need to go back to my normal voice. But then i started doing some more stuff on youtube i was getting a lot of i was getting quite a bit of hate and then once the hate went away i just got a ton of inactive subscribers so basically after that i was like huh i should make a new skin so i made myself a new skin and i was still playing on supreme prison which i don't really play on much today Maybe I play on it every once in a while, but not very often. And then, I made a new channel because of inactive subscribers. And so, I stayed on that channel for about seven months, I think. And then, well actually, maybe more like a year. But, then I went back to this channel again. And then I started uploading on here more and more. And then my videos started getting more sophisticated, better edited, editing, better intro, better outro, and people started liking my videos even more. And then I made that popular MMOs fan animation, which has over 68,000 views now, which is insane to think that 68,000 people clicked that video and watched it. That's insane. But then I started doing more videos, and my voice gradually went down to my voice now. Which, uh, this feels so much better talking like this. And I have joined many SMPs ever since I started YouTube. I think I've joined like five SMPs. It's like SMP included, not season two and season, but just season one. But I think it's crazy to think about how much I've grown on YouTube. And it's just insane to think that. 3,000 people have subscribed to my channel ever since I started YouTube in 2013. 
So, it hasn't been three years yet since I've started YouTube, and I know there's YouTubers that did YouTube like a year ago and already have like 50,000, 100,000 subscribers, and I get that. To me, it sort of seems, in a way, that people like to watch guy gamers more than girl gamers because, I don't know, guy gamers are just more funny, I guess. Um, I don't know. But... It's still awesome to think that I have 3,000 people that have clicked that subscribe button. And that's just insane. And I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support and everything. And it just means a lot to me. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this YouTube story video. Because I just wanted to tell you guys about my YouTube story. And where I started out and how I progressed and everything. And I don't think I have anything else to say. So we're gonna go back to this voice for just a few seconds. I, I'm very sorry for it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So stay kittyfied. And also, I'll see you guys next time.